everyone. Hope you're having a great day. Sun is finally starting to come out. Temperatures are starting to go up. And today we are at Bella Vista RV taking a look at a 2022 Shadow Cruiser by Cruiser RV. Now I'm a little excited to go through this unit. This is a 277 BHS. The reason I'm excited is this floor plan was introduced about four years ago, took the market by storm, and I might be a little bit off on my date, but approximately there, took the market by storm, and in its first year on our dealer lot when I was in the business, this quickly, that first year, tied their best selling floor plan, the 280 QBS, which had been a number one selling floor plan. And it managed for the next several years to always tie or beat that floor plan by a couple of units, nothing major. So literally tied every year with the heavy hitter in their floor plan. And we're gonna take you through and show you why. So again, thank you to Bella Vista RV for giving us access to these trailers. They're the Shadow Cruiser dealer for the greater Toronto area, Simcoe, Muskoka, York region. They're on Highway 11, seven minutes north of Barrie. So thank you to them. And I'll post a link to their website below. Thank you to you guys, our viewers. I've been noticing a lot of subscriptions being hit. So thank you very much. Continue to hit that subscription. We're pushing to 10,000 subscribers and above. It'll give us access to more units that I can bring you. If you like the video, please click the like button. Now back to the 277 BHS. This is about a 28 foot floor plan. Big single slide, double entry, and it's gonna weigh in at 6,473 pounds, which is very respectable for this size of trailer. The reason for that, this is a five-sided aluminum. So it's not aluminum and wood construction like a lot of manufacturers five-sided, meaning front and back walls, your side walls, and your roof are all aluminum trusses. Sits on a super heavy-duty frame. This frame at 28 feet is going to have three times the number of cross members to give it structural rigidity, taking twist out of your trailer frame. So that's a really great and important feature. But let's take a look at some of the outside features. Molded fiberglass cap that is painted. Very important, ask for a painted cap if you see molded fiberglass, not colored, because the colored will fade on you, where the paint will fade, but you won't be able to tell. Just the same way as you, you look at your car and can't see that the paint is fading on you slowly. It just fades so slowly. Power tongue jack and power stabilizer jacks, front and back. We have a very innovative setup here in their storage area. Two big compartment doors that are slam latch and magnetic catches. You'll notice the doors are both the same size, so you can get your gear out either side of the trailer, regardless of where it's sliding. You won't see it here, it, the box is across this storage bay. There's the tire link minder system that is pre-wired in here. You do have to buy the add-on component to it, and you, that add-on component basically will put valve stem monitors on, and you'll be able to monitor your tire pressure like you do your car. Nice and clean inside, aluminum supports for the bed. You'll notice the plywood support for the bed as well because the floor is tongue and groove plywood. But I love that they've taken, you know, basically a motorhome type feature and thrown it into the trailer. We have a movable tray here that pulls up and out so you can put extra gear, slide it back in, close the lid, and now put your other gear, your bins, etc., in there. Second entry, which is a nice feature, it goes into the bedroom. I'm gonna step back and show you the awning is three quarters of the unit, really impressive. Aluminum rims with the heavy duty axles and never adjust brakes, so save yourself a bit of money on maintenance. 
I know the service managers will hate me for saying it, but you know, you're not gonna have to go in and get your brakes manually adjusted all the time. It has the Suburban Elite Series griddle here. It's propane and there is a connection down here that you can actually connect to. Some extra storage and power plugs. A nice big storage area for extra goods and a mini fridge out here as well as a high pressure spray port. So if you need water while you're cooking, you can get it right there. As we walk around the back, you're going to see the Furion camera prep is already there and the on-the-go ladder supports. So the on-the-go ladder is a ladder you can purchase from your parts store. That ladder scrunches down, it doesn't fold, it telescopes in. And if you need the ladder, you take it out, put it into the support up top there, and you've got yourself a ladder. Don't need it, tuck it away and it's gone. Gas electric water heater, which is really important. You get a lot more flow through. And then of course, we have our satellite cable hookups, fresh water black tank hookup, and our power connection here. Down under our slide, they use a rack and pinion slide system, which is very reliable and has been around for quite some time. Also, you'll notice, I like to point this out, no Darko. Darko is basically a tart material. This is a sprayed on liner that is very durable, keeps the water off the floor of the slide out, and just gives you a better protection overall. And then they like to use the splash guards so that you're keeping water off the bottom of the slide again. Now that we've looked at the outsides, let's take a look inside. I'll point a couple other little things as we walk around. The roof is a TPO or thermopolyethylene, similar to what's used in the motorhome industry. Lot less maintenance, very, very durable across the board. Now remember this unit is 6,473 pounds, has almost 3,000 pounds of carrying capacity. Now I apologize if the video might be a little dark in a couple of locations. Uh, it's a little bit further away from where we have access to power, so I'm gonna try to do my best to point out for you all the features. First thing you're gonna notice is the huge shadow, clue, shadow cruiser closet that they put in here. There's a LED light, there's hangers as well. All the, the shelving has a nice lip, you'll notice. It's about two fingers deep. There's even a power plug in here in case you wanna put something in that needs to be charged or powered. Tri-fold sofa, so if you need extra sleeping, you can use that. You have a big dinette, which can also be used for sleeping. And I'm gonna point something out. They bring their dinettes out beyond the slide, so they're a little wider. You'll notice the industry has a tendency to set them inside, so that's a unique feature. And of course, doors to get underneath. Now your main sleeping area for guests are the double over double bunks rated at 275 pounds. So that's a nice feature. We also have big thick mattresses that Shadow Cruiser likes to put on there and some storage down below so you're not losing any space because we have our outside kitchen behind there. So you have that extra space. I like to say be careful of units that have a fold here that would let you fold this up and then try to put gear and they'd leave this open with no door facings because you weaken this corner of the sleeping. Here you've got a nice support right around. Window on the bottom and a window on the top. Now our bathroom in the 277, good size bathroom. Not too big, not too small, right about the right size. Decent little sink, some storage, and decent counter space to give you some space to put some small items. Medicine cabinet in the corner that'll be a little deeper. Window for natural light and ventilation. Don't thrill your neighbors while you're hopping out of the shower. Or maybe you do. <laughs> Hanging with spot for towels, 
We have a power vent. I've talked about that in a few videos. Just nice to have a small vent, take some steam, etc. especially when you open the window. Now you'll notice we have a curved roof to be a little more aerodynamic, but still give us some interior height. And that skylight in the shower to give you that extra height as well and the brightness. Now, I like the surrounds. I really, really like the surrounds that Shadow Cruiser picks. Um, just they have that nice design, looks a little more upscale than what you see out there, and just well thought out. The corner nooks to put your shampoo and your soap. So, great job, Shadow Cruiser. That's what's made some of their floor plans number one sellers. Um, you'll notice features like big windows, their windows on the ends of their slides open for extra ventilation. And rather than going, hey, look at this massive window behind a sofa and not realizing that you're missing storage, they do put storage in here. Now, the one thing you are missing, which is a positive, when you look through this video and I'm walking around, you'll notice there's none of those cheapy little trailer RV hinges. These are residential hinges all hidden away inside, very heavy duty. Now their cabinets are screwed and glued so you have a stronger cabinet. Entertainment center, I wish I could show you this, but back behind the TV here, there's some LED lighting. This unit has the TV on board. All our controls are in a nice easy spot and gone, you'll notice in many of my videos I talk about, here's the radio. This is actually a Bluetooth DVD player. So you already have your DVD here for your TV. It's Bluetooth so you can sit outside, turn on the outside speakers and listen to your music while you kick back. They have the large two door stainless steel fridge. So we're typically, you know, between that 10 and 11 cubic feet, all glass shelves and a big freezer as well. Our three burner range, the knobs light up. There's also a light inside the oven. Yes, it's a small oven, pretty much the industry standard. Typically in a unit like this, you're not going to be trying to cook turkeys, etc. It just doesn't happen. A microwave above and what I really like that Shadow Cruiser does, look at the amount of storage in here. Lots of drawers and doors to have storage in and even neat little things that they do like our cutlery drawers already separated and yes, that's plywood. Now, they use a large stainless steel sink. It's double wide without the divider so you can get big pots and pans in there. And as we walk up front, their king size bed on their patented slide system. So I'm gonna show you that side of the bed. I can gently push it and you'll notice it's gone all the way to that wall. We have lots of space here to get up and make the bed. We can also reach underneath so there's no more lifting the bed to get to your gear. You can slide your bins underneath. It's all nice, clean and separated from your outside storage. When you're done, grab the bed, slide it back. Now you'll notice how much I pulled it to this side. That will go all the way to the wall. As I've mentioned in other videos, screened window with a separate window across for cross ventilation. And some people might be saying, hey, but you don't need that, you got the door. Well, at night when you sleep, you don't wanna sleep with the door open. So if you're in a Walmart parking lot, dry camping somewhere, open up those windows, let the cross ventilation go through and even smarter, I've got this in my RV, you know, the vent above the bed. This one even has a little powered vent fan. Open up the vent, that heat rises. It'll also rise out of the unit, helping to keep it a little bit cooler. As we look down, this is storage space that normally would be wasted in the kitchen. So they've put several drawers that you can take advantage of the storage space. They're nice and deep and they're pretty long. So again, inventive thinking. 
and solid doors, which is always nice, so you'll have privacy when the kids or your guests are sleeping. You can see why this has been a number one seller for a number of years. I'll be curious this year, uh, hopefully Bella Vista will share that information with us as to will it be a number one seller for them. Uh, as gas prices go up, I think it should because it's 6,473 pounds. It's actually a very respectable weight for this size of trailer. Uh, we do or I like to point out that we have dual ducted air conditioning to try to keep the unit cooler on the hot days and that goes all the way down and a benefit of that is that you get air conditioning ducts in the bunk area even after the privacy curtain is closed but the dual ducting also gives you air conditioning in your washroom to keep the washroom cooler on those hot, hot days because it can become a sauna in there. So something to watch if you're new in the industry to keep an eye out for dual ducting as most manufacturers run a single duct and you're giving up in areas like that washroom. So thank you to you guys again. If you like the video, click the like button, hit the subscribe and mash that bell and you'll be notified of new updates. Thank you to Bella Vista RV. We'll post a link below. They have pricing on their website. If you live in the greater Toronto, Southern Ontario area, they are the Shadow Cruiser dealer for the GTA, Simcoe, Muskoka, York region. They have a great selection up here and the largest showroom in the area. So I'm giving them a big plug as a special thank you for the access they provide us for these units. To you guys, I look forward to seeing you out in the campground. If you see me, come say hello. We will hopefully see you over the summer. Have a great camping season. Leave us your comments below and make sure you live life to the fullest every day. Take care.